if you attempt questions in multiples of four, then your probability of qualifying the CSAT cutoff increases substantially. I'm going to show you with this, this chart. Bear with me till the end. I'm Vikas Dhayal and let's dive into this video. So suppose if you are doing 29 questions as has been shown here, questions attempted at 29. Out of them, you mark 28 correct. It is given here if you are marking 28 correct and one is wrong. Then you'll, you'll be clearing the prelims cutoff for C side that is 66.67 and you, have, you are getting a couple of marks more than the cutoff. Suppose now you have three questions lined up for you. Question number 30, 31 and 32. Suppose you, you, you try and attempt question number 30 and it, it gets wrong. So still 28 correct and uh, two wrong. If you attempt 31st also, you just, just apply a random logic also. Uh, it also gets incorrect. 3 wrong, 28 correct, you get you are clearing the cutoff. If you try and attempt 32 questions, still if the last one also you are so unlucky that it also gets incorrect uh, and uh, still you are making 28 correct and 4 incorrect, you are still clearing the cutoff. And this logic applies to all multiples of 4. Just suppose if you are doing 49 questions here, 33 are correct and 16 are incorrect. And then just, just go on, if you even if you mark 3 more questions, and all of them are incorrect, you're still clearing the cutoff. So this is a mathematical uh, sort of rule of clearing the CSAT paper, where if you attempt in multiples of four, even if you are if you are attempting something like 49, you should go on and attempt 52, because the three more questions that you're attempting, even if one of them gets uh, gets um, uh, okay and gets correct, then you will be in, in prelim, you will be clearing the prelims cut off. So uh, thank you for watching this analysis. My name is Vikas Dial and you can watch the other CSAT video where I tell you exactly how to solve the CSAT paper in two hours so that you can uh, do as many questions as possible. So uh, thank you so much.